What's up guys, it's Dr. Price and I'm here with Action Potential Mentoring and our goal is to help you perform at your absolute best. So we're gonna crush all anxiety, we're gonna get you the knowledge that you need and the performance that you deserve. So join me right now and we're gonna jump into some content. The D stands for drops and it also stands for the treatment. So D for dimer caparol. And how I remember this is I think dimes are made of lead, which they're probably not at all, but that's how I remember it. So I think dimes are made of lead. The D in leads stands for dimer caparol. And something else that you can use is also called EDTA. All right, so that also is another treatment. Okay, and then the lastly, uh, the best treatment for if it's a kid is gonna be something called succimer. So I think the S for stippling also goes with S for succimer. All right, so the classic mnemonic here is it sucks to be a kid with lead poisoning. And what is the basophilic stippling? And so that basophilic stippling is actually rRNA. So I'm just going to throw that in here for you. It's a bunch of rRNA aggregates. So it's all throughout your red blood cell. It's just rRNA that basically your cell could not degrade because of the lead poisoning. All right, so lead stops your heme synthesis pathway. And one of the side effects of that is just a buildup of the rRNA at the proximal end of the pathway. Thank you guys so much for joining today. If you found that was helpful, find me on Instagram at Action Potential Mentoring and shoot me a DM saying what your favorite part of today's lesson was. If you have any questions or you'd like some personalized one-on-one -on -one assistance with preparing for the USMLE, learning what it takes to become a stellar applicant and matching it to your dream specialty, DM me the words VIP Mastermind. Again, that's VIP Mastermind. Talk to you soon.